Hello, good morning, everybody. Is it a different day or is she just wearing the same clothes? Just the same clothes, different day. I, like I say, I'm an alpha repeater. It's like, it's not dirty. I'm just gonna wear it again, so. And also, I don't really have anywhere to be. I'm like chilling in my house all day. Again, using this uh, tallow on my skin. After using it now for like some time, I can tell you, for one, mine does not smell at all. I was, this stuff's kind of pricey. I mean, it's not pricey for most like facial. It's like the same cost, maybe a little bit more than what I was spending on my last like face cream. But this stuff is like, it's pretty good. Definitely gonna be buying it again. It's just like a weird consistency that I'm not used to. Like, it feels a little bit like greasy and my skin's so sensitive, like I'll break out in two seconds. But like, it doesn't break me out at all. And I and most anything I put on my face will like just instantly give me little pimples or I don't know, my skin's just weird. So that stuff's really good, I really like it. I was looking to see like how you can, you can make it yourself for like a fraction of the cost. So. If, you're, if you want to try it, but you're like, I'm not spending 20 or $30 on like this little jar. I think this will last me a pretty good amount because you use a really tiny bit of it and then just the aquaphor. But you can make it yourself if you wanted to and put like essential oils or a calendula, you know, all, whatever the things are. What's today? Okay, lots going on today because I have so much to do. One second. Today was a day like I really didn't want to put makeup on. I need to because I'm filming a lot of my Patreon videos today, which some of them are really good. Like one of them is going to be all about like our surrogate update and what's going on with baby number three. So that's exciting. And then I don't know, the list is in my phone. It's a lot of good videos, but I didn't want to put makeup on. And then I also have a one on one coaching call. So just like a lot of stuff. And then we are trying to get the garden and the backyard garden, little homestead garden situation like done so yesterday i was weed whacking <laughs> in the backyard because we don't have a lawnmower and getting like our garden beds ready and just like prepping everything yeah i am prepping the garden travis and the kids are helping it's like a whole family affair okay farmer shannon here she is in her overalls we are getting ready to go prep the garden and get all of our like raised garden beds, our landscaping. Did I tell you guys that I like had to weed whack the backyard because we don't have a lawnmower? Uh, I think we're gonna end up needing to get a right on lawnmower because we literally have, that is all of our land and that's just in the front. That doesn't, that's not the, just the back. So definitely have a lot of like lawn to mow. Although I do plan on as much as I can making all of this land usable land for growing like actual edible food or things that can be used for like self-sufficiency and homesteading because we are preparing for this election <laughs> and if you're not you should go into it on here because it's very controversial and YouTube does not like that stuff but I do talk all about it on Patreon I did a whole video on like why we're preparing for the election how we're preparing for it and why others should as well. So it's definitely not something you want to sleep on, that's for sure. But how cute, let me, hold on, let me turn this around. Okay, these overalls are, they're, they're not on my Amazon storefront. Um, unfortunately, they don't sell these on Amazon. I had to buy them on the website, but I think these are so cute and they're really comfortable because like these are like elastic. They have like little mushroom houses and flowers and yeah, they're just adorable, little wheelbarrows. So I'm gonna get my garden boots on and we are gonna go get this garden bed ready to start growing like 80% of all of our own fruits and vegetables. So let's go do this. All right, Travis is now weed whacking. We got some of the garden beds built. My little garden girl, hey. And all of our little seedlings. Here's some. Yeah. 
So this spider might not look that big on camera, but he is huge and he's been in our garage for a while. And I'm like, make sure you guys keep the garage door shut because we don't want this little guy waking up on our face in the morning. All right, so we're coming in the garage. Got some of these packages I need to bring out. And then I am looking for this, my landscape. So this is what we're getting ready to put out. And then we've got our soil to put in the garden bed. So our fertilizer and we have these big gates because we have deer. So I was like, okay, I need to get a deer fence. So we're gonna buy that. So bought that and then realized we have a bear problem here. So, so now I also need to protect from bears. So all the predators are like the big thing that we need to like protect all of our like garden from. So we got the deer fence and then I need to get an electric fence <laughs> to put up to keep the bears out. And then, you know, the squirrels and the birds and the raccoons and the turkeys, we have wild turkeys here. And just basically like all the things that wanna eat your vegetables, we have to protect from. So as we're doing this, we're planning for all of that as well. So we're gonna show you kind of how we protect all our vegetables and plants and garden from all the critters that also want it. All right, we got most of it weed whacked. So now we gotta put this landscape back down to block the weed. Open this up. Get this out. Our landscape staples. So we're gonna put this down and put the staples in to keep it down in the ground so that we can block the, the weeds out. And then we will have a blank canvas start on the weather. A lot of carpenter bees out here. A lot of insects, but look how beautiful it is. Literally the forest in our backyard. There are a lot of insects out here. A lot of spiders, a lot of bees, a lot of just insects. We saw a little baby, what we think is a copperhead snake. We know we have a lot of those out here, so we gotta be careful for those. But I think putting these like weed barriers down is gonna help not just with, you know, keeping it clean and preventing weeds from coming up, but also a safety issue for having the snakes out here and us out in the back a lot, especially with the kids outside. So it'll help us be able to kind of see things a little bit better while keeping all this like high grass down. So we're almost done. I'm gonna go cut off the rest and then we're gonna start putting the garden beds on, hopefully attaching a trellis and getting stuff done out here. I'll leave it off the side for now. Jeez, friggin' bees are huge. I don't like you coming at me, dude. Ah! Get away! I need no harm. Damn, dude, I think a tit, I think I just got bit by a tit. Like this bee wants to get me. <laughs> Alright. Can you see that? Well, here's what she looks like. And we have these garden beds we need to bring up there, but I need to have to help me. I can't do that alone. I think my hand is like starting to swell, swell up a little bit. Oh, you guys can see. Oh, freaking creatures. All right, well, I'm happy so far with how this looks. It's hard to see on camera, but I don't think you can see much of a difference, but it's like in this area here. <laughs> I think it feels so weird. <sighs> Sweating. This is pineapple, ginger, coconut, and alkaline water. We're all drinking drink yummy juices. All right, I'm gonna go online and research. <laughs> the tick that I think just bit me and make sure it's not like a lime tick. <laughs> BRB. There were four of these. One, two, three, four. Meaning one, two, three, four. Oh, okay. Remember, because they all have trellises. So there's trellises going from this box to that box. 
this box to this box, and then again on that box and that box. Oh, so there's okay. four. I, yeah, I we've got a lot of plants, so I we definitely have, need well, more. I, guess I, w I didn't have enough room for more stuff, anyways. But uh, okay, so we will go a lot more. Yeah, you're so hot, babe. Thanks, honey. Okay, my little homestead farm fam. <laughs> I feel like Farmer Shannon. Uh, so we ran out of wood, so we need to get more to build the rest of the boxes here. But we do have the cattle panel that are over there and we have some stakes. So we're gonna stake down, add some cattle panels, see what this one looks like with it. And then, yeah, we're just gonna work on that. And then if all goes well, tomorrow we will bring you back and show you what it all looks like keep you posted but so far this is what we're doing to prep just for sense of security and to just be more self-sufficient because it feels really good to have that like sense of security and to learn lost skills i think is just really cool especially in like this time in my life so if you're wanting to learn some homesteading stuff, how to be more self-sufficient, you don't need to have a lot of land to do it. You can literally do it on like an apartment balcony. Even if it's just one thing like growing tomatoes or, you know, your own greens, it's just a cool feeling to be able to do that. And yeah, it's fun. So I'm excited to share with you guys like all the things we're gonna be growing, all the things that I'm learning, I plan to teach you guys so that if you guys wanna do it or you're inspired to also do something similar that you can, we can all do it together. So you just follow along our little homestead journey. I really wanna get chickens. <laughs> Not a lot, but maybe like four or five. So I need to convince my husband or maybe I'm just gonna bring them home one day and not tell him. <laughs> So wish me luck. But anyway, uh, make sure to come back tomorrow so you can see our finished garden beds and what they look like. And then I will uh, show you how we start planting in them. We're going to do the Hugo culture me method, which is basically like putting like a little bit of sticks and leaves in the first layer and then doing the rest soil, like raised garden bed soil. It helps on costs and also it's really good for the soil. So I will show you guys tomorrow what it all looks like. So make sure you come back and stay tuned. Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. I'm sending you all my love and all my positive energy and I hope to see you in tomorrow's video. Mwah. Hello everybody. I'm so excited. I finally freaking got my like faux olive tree in the mail and also our Samsung frame TV frame, which I'm still like shocked at how much I spent on this, way more than I wanted. I was considering like having Travis just custom build one, but this one I just love so much, so I decided I'm just gonna go for it. So we're gonna unbox it together, make sure it's not damaged. It's a little hack, like when you're buying a bunch of stuff for your house or just anything really, especially if it's like a higher ticket item, I always recommend to open it up right away and check for any damage, make sure you was delivered the right thing the right size, the right color, whatever it is. Cause a lot of times I know for us, like we'll buy stuff and there have been times that like, we just don't open the box cause we're doing so many other things. And so then by the time we do open the box, if it was like damaged or the wrong color, it's like too late to, too late to return it or exchange it, you know? Cause we've had it so long. So, oh my God, this thing's so huge. Sit closer so you can see the detail. Get some better lighting here. So this is what it looks like. Yes, buddy. Yep, we're gonna unbox that too. So over here we have the kids. Okay, bud. I hear you, okay? I heard you the first six times. They're unboxing a trampoline for the kids and a weed whacker slash blower. So yeah, I'm very excited about this. It looks like very easy to put together and on. You can see like the little attachments here. I got all this on Amazon. So I will show you what it looks like when it's all set up and put together on top of the TV. The TV looks like this now. There's our little plant. And I will show you the before and after. Wait, tell me right now, it looks like our TV is like flashing. So it's like on the frame part. Let me know if you guys see the flashing or if that's just something that I see. Okay, so here is the top of the frame. And I thought it'd be fun for you guys to guess how much this was. And whoever guesses right in the comments, we're gonna name our TV after you. She needs a name. 
So guess in the comments how much it is, and then I'm gonna go in the comments, and whoever was the first one to guess it right, leave your name with, in case your name is not your username, so that we can name our TV after you. I think that'll be fun. Oh, bud, you tired out? It's a lot of work, huh?